I wanted to take a few minutes to announce an app that I've been working on with a few fellow drone enthusiasts. The app is called Drone Blocks. It's now available for free in the iOS App Store and there's a link to it in the description below. So Drone Blocks currently supports the Phantom 3 series and the Inspire 1. We are currently in beta with an Android version for the 3DR Solo. And before I actually get into demonstrating drone blocks and letting you see it in the field, I want to give a little bit of background on how it came to be. About a year and a half ago, I had started a little drone program at my daughter's elementary school. And my daughter's learning and innovation teacher, Ms. Vickery, was kind enough to let me come in and talk to the students about drones. We actually 3D printed a small quadcopter, built it, and the kids learned how to fly it. So from that, I decided I wanted to take a passion of mine, which is software and programming, and allow the kids to program these aircraft to do interesting things. So if you're familiar with Hour of Code or block-based programming, Drone Blocks allows students to drag and drop blocks and then upload their mission to the aircraft for it to carry out those commands. So Drone Blocks is a way for students that are interested in STEM or maybe anyone that's just a tinkerer or loves to mess around with programming missions for these aircraft to be able to get in and easily do so. So let me go ahead and give you a quick demonstration of a Drone Blocks mission and then I'll demonstrate that mission being carried out in the field. This is the drone blocks interface and you can see there are a bunch of different blocks that you can drag and drop onto your canvas. In this case, we have a lesson plan that we're putting together. It's called the box mission. And if you look at the commands, you can see that it takes off, flies forward 25 feet, yaws right, and it repeats those commands all the way to the end and it lands. So this is called box mission because the aircraft will actually fly in a square. But what I want to do is just demonstrate a way to simplify that. So we're going to use a loop. We'll take off. Then I'll drag out a loop block. And let's just set it to loop four times. And then I can duplicate these blocks. We'll tell it to fly forward. And then we'll tell it to then yaw right and then I'll just put a land block. We'll go ahead and get rid of this original program. And the interesting thing is in the curriculum that we're putting together, we demonstrate looping and variable concepts for the students to learn. Over time, the programs get more and more complex and ultimately allow students to program whatever mission they want. And you'll notice there's a little camera view here that shows the view from the drone when you're in the air. The first thing you want to do is flip from P to F. That's function mode and will allow drone blocks to then autonomously control the aircraft. <clears throat> so what happens next is you click start mission. It'll ask if you want to confirm. We'll say yes. So as you can see, it's very easy to program a mission using drone blocks and there are literally an infinite number of block combinations that you can try. One thing that we're doing for higher education, we're going to make drone blocks completely open source so high school and college students could get in, define custom blocks that ultimately younger students can then consume and use in their missions. We're also working on several lesson plans for those that want to take drone blocks into a club or a school and just demonstrate the awesome capabilities of these aircraft. So once again, drone blocks is free. It's available in the app store. Please download and check it out. We have a Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below. 
And if you guys do any sort of interesting missions, we'd love to hear about them. So I hope that was useful. We're really excited about this. I personally have had a lot of fun going to the field and testing out different missions. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.